Will says, yeah, I think Jorge beats Connor. Uh, I will. Um, I think I will lean towards Jorge as well at 170. I think um, Jorge's. Um, I, I don't necessarily think he's too big for Connor. I mean, I think, I think his frame and size definitely a factor. Like he is a bigger, bigger guy than Connor. <clears throat> like Connor has to put in serious work to gain that kind of mass to be like. You know Jorge's size are bigger he I mean he's actually he's more muscular than Jorge you know he's he's definitely more muscular but size and frame wise Jorge's bigger than him so but Connor gotta like bulk to get to that size to contend with Masvidal Masvidal is naturally just around that size you know <clears throat> and striking wise very competitive you know I I definitely think that um Jorge can knock Connor out. I think it's possible that Connor catches Jorge as well, but in my honest opinion, and you know, I had like a different opinion like a few years ago, but in my honest opinion right now that I'm thinking about it, um, I definitely will definitely will lean towards Masvidal, and I would think it's more likely that Jorge knocks him out. I don't think like there'll be no takedowns in the fight. You know, I I don't see Connor being able to take Masvidal Masvidal down if he tried. He just he's not gonna do it. And um, Jorge could take Connor down. You know, it's more likely. It's more likely to me. But I still think it'll be kind of difficult because Connor got like he has like underrated takedown defense. He's a pretty strong guy too for his size. So I don't know if it'll be necessarily easy, but I I see more likely Masvidal takes him down. What do you guys say about that? Um, I don't really see Connor taking him down, and I don't think they'll go for takedowns. I think I think that they'll just slug it out. It'll be just like a Wild West slugfest in the middle of the octagon shootout, and whoever lands first, you know, that's gonna be the one that has the advantage. 